everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 391 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is a sample that I got in a recent Ulta gift with purchase sample bag but the full size version retails for $36 which when I think about $36 for just a primer that sounds very expensive to me, but this is very high rated and I know that Smashbox makes amazing primers, so hopefully it's a product that's worth the price point. It claims to give the perfect base to foundation and I have, I would say combination skin where I get oily along my forehead and my nose, but then I'm dry on my chin and I have large pores along my cheeks and my nose. So I'm hoping that this primer will make it so that my foundation goes on looking perfect. And this is supposed to be good for combination oily kind of acne prone skin. So this sounds like it'll be really good. So what I'm going to do is start off by just applying this to my entire face. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation on top of it so that we can really see how the primer performs. And so it sounds really easy to apply. You just apply a little bit to your fingertips and then rub it into your face, basically like a moisturizer. And it does kind of have that jelly-like texture, but it's pretty liquid as well. Like it's rubbing onto my skin, basically feeling like a liquid lotion. Wow, and I only took like a tiny dollop, I would say like a pea size amount, and that's enough to completely cover my entire face. Wow, so I like that a little bit goes a long way, especially for those high priced items. I want them to be able to last a while. And I just feel like for the sake of the review, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more to make sure my face is well covered, but really I'm just going in with the tiniest bit more. And this is completely clear, which is kind of nice. So as far as minimizing and blurring pores, it's not really doing any of that. My large pores along here still look the same visibly but hopefully when I apply my foundation they'll look smooth but this doesn't claim to be a pore minimizing primer but wow yeah this did claim to leave skin feeling silky smooth and that is exactly how I would describe the texture on my skin my skin does feel very smoothed out feels hydrated and it's not a very sticky tacky primer it my skin does kind of have that velvety smooth finish so interested to see how the foundation will apply on top of this so for foundation this is my go-to foundation when reviewing primers this is the elf flawless finish foundation and i love to use this foundation when trying out primers because this is just like a standard nothing too fancy type of foundation it doesn't have any sort of skin enhancing benefits that I've noticed with my skin, so I can really tell how my skin is underneath this foundation. I can tell if my skin is dry or textured. So it's great for reviewing primers, but if you wanna see my review on this foundation, which this is just a great foundation, I do really like it, I will link that video down below. And this is like a $6 foundation, but has a pump, this nice frosted glass bottle definitely worth the money and so now going in with my dampen beauty sponge see how it applies onto the primer okay so my foundation is applied and it did apply very nice on top of the primer like it blended out very evenly but what I am noticing is that it did not help me with my texture. So along my cheeks and my nose, I can definitely see the texture of my pores. So 
I'll zoom in so that you can see the texture. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I've just gotten so picky with the primers that I've tried out throughout this trying a new makeup product everyday series where I have primers where it just looks like I don't even have pores. My skin just looks so smooth and perfected. And so that's what I prefer. But so this is not great for minimizing texture, minimizing pores. But as far as giving that velvety, silky, smooth finish to the skin, I would say that it's doing that. It does look soft in a sense of that type of texture where I don't have the large pores. It is looking really nice. And where I'm dry on my chin, the foundation looks very smooth. It's not clinging to any dry patches. But also I am noticing that where I have like some lines, the product is still kind of creasing and gathering. So it's not preventing the creasing of the foundation either. Hmm. So I mean, I think the foundation and the primer look good together, but I'm just so picky that it's not my favorite primer and I'm not super impressed. I feel like for $36, this should be amazing and it's just kind of average. But also Smashbox makes so many different types of primers that are geared towards so many different skin concerns. I think this one here is just a general type of primer and I think it succeeds at doing that. I love the Smashbox primer water. If you wanna see my review on that one, I will link that down below. But I would love to try out some more of these, maybe like the green tinted to see how that eliminate some of the redness in my cheeks or if they have some sort of pore minimizing smoothing primers that I think would work better for me so that would be my takeaway I like this but if I were to buy a Smashbox primer I'd want to find something that was more suited to my skin concerns but let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on these Smashbox primers and if you've tried any that you really love it's a perfect example of why I love trying samples and that those Ulta sample bags are so great. So now I know how this works for me without having to buy the full size product. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.